Okay, so 2 Corinthians 5.21 says, He the Father made him the Son sin who knew no sin. And by the Father making the Son sin, we might become the righteousness of God in the Son. Doesn't say anything about Jesus dying on the cross, that verse. All right, when you think about that, the gospel, she's right, of course. But when you think about it, what's really important with the gospel is that it's the Father who sacrifices his Son, who never did anything wrong, who was perfect. Right? Then it says, so that we might become, what? What does it mean to be the righteousness of God? What does that mean? What does it mean? It means God looks at you and he says, you're right. (laughs) Can he do that to anybody? Can God look at any person and say, you know, this guy is perfect. He's right with me. He can't. So how does he do it? Look at it, what the verse says. The righteousness of God in him. You cannot be righteous with the Father yourself. It is only in the Son. So the gospel is the Father puts all of your sin on his Son so that what the Son achieves on your behalf and for the Father, because he does it for the Father, the Father can now, if you trust in the achievement of the Son and who he is, he can now look at you as right in his eyes. (coughs) That's crazy. The other part of the gospel we forget a lot of times because we tend to think in terms of getting saved, saved, you know, you get saved, you know, a person gets saved. But the gospel continues until you die in your life because you're never saved completely. Um, When I talk about what uh, Martin Luther said, that uh, a Christian is a snow-covered dung ball. So... What he's saying is Philippians 2. He's saying God never looks at you practically. He looks at you positionally, who you are in his son. So what he sees is his son when he looks at you. And positionally, you're right and righteous and perfect in his eyes. But practically, you're no different than anyone else. That's why... When we talk to non-believers, we need to understand we are just like them. There's only one difference between being Christian and non-Christian. You're forgiven. (laughs) That's it. And that's what that verse in 521 means, that we might be righteous in his sight, right, in Christ. The, The way to be righteous in his sight is through Jesus Christ and him being the Lord and Savior of your life. So you're right. It's just going a little deeper to understand that walking the aisle, saying a prayer, that's not the gospel. Even asking Jesus to be your savior is not the gospel. The gospel is literally surrendering who you are in your life to him and putting your life in his hands. That's the gospel because of who he is. 